Hey everybody, this is Matt with Mountain Stream Teas and today we're doing something a little bit different. We're gonna be doing a blind taste test of honey fragrance black tea sort of levels with Sebastian here. So Sebastian, what, what's your experience with, uh, with high quality teas? Zero. So zero. So that's right. I mean, in the car, we were having a little bit of a discussion about which uh, 7-Eleven drinks were, which 7-Eleven teas were sort of the best. And uh, so you do have some experience, right? You got some experience with teas. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, so the way that we're setting this up here, we have three different levels of the Honey Fragrance Black Teas. So we have the competition style, the normal style, and then the daily drinker. And they're all mixed together here. Now, we actually had a friend of ours put the, the answers on the bottom of these. So I don't even know the answers to this. But what I'm gonna do right now is I'm just gonna divide them up. I'm not even gonna look. Maybe out here I'll put the tops on these just like this. So we're just gonna spin these around and we are going to add hot water to them. And we're gonna do a four minute competition style steep on these teas. And then we'll taste them out and we'll see if we can guess which ones are the expensive ones and which ones are the, <laughs> the not expensive ones. Okay, so here we go. I'm not so, supposed to look at them, am I? Well, it's okay. I mean, uh, you know, we want you to win. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna win this. <laughs> I've got a good feeling. So here we go. Let's turn on the timer. So here we go, four minutes. Four minutes? Can you yeah. say five minutes? Uh, well, for so this is the competition style of steeping. For oolong teas, ball rolled oolongs, then you want sort of boiling water for about uh, five to six minutes. It depends on different areas. For the black teas, it depends on where you are and what the different areas are, but generally speaking, you're looking at a little bit off the boiling water for about four minutes. Okay. So when I'm doing it myself, at home, I usually do five minutes. Okay. But right now we're at our partner farm and uh, and their timer is for four minutes. So they usually do four minutes. So All right. <laughs> we're gonna go with the four minutes. Truly the difference between four minutes and five minutes. And... You're, you're making it more difficult for me, you can tell. One minute less. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it's uh, well with these teas, it's kind of tough because none of these teas are bad. Like none of these teas, these three teas, they all are, you know, the, the cost of these teas is very, very different. Some are, you know, say, use a rough estimate. This one is $100, this one maybe $150, this one is $300, right? So the, they're all decent teas, right? So the differences between them, um, well, and this, this isn't quite really all that fair because I, I haven't actually told you the taste preferences, the taste points. So some of the teas, the more expensive teas, have certain taste points that people are looking for. The cheaper teas have certain taste points that people expect. And so, good luck. Okay, okay. <laughs> this is so you're not, you're not telling me what they are. No, I'm not, yeah. I'll tell you afterwards. Absolutely, I'm gonna tell you afterwards. But for me, it's like, um, how best to describe it? This is really fun. You know, like, you know, we've been, we, we know each other, we've been talk, talking about teas for, for a while, we're talking about lots of different things. This is a smart guy, right? So I'm throwing you into this situation where I have my preconceived notions, right? I have my, I know what a good tea is. I know this is my, this is my favorite partner farm and I know these teas and blah, 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 blah. So I've got all these preconceived notions and all these preconceived biases, but you're coming into this basically blind. Uh, I think I've described to you why they have a honey fragrance to them, right? But like they've been bitten by the bugs. Oh, no. I, I didn't even no, know I that. Didn't know that. <laughs> they've been bitten by the bugs. <laughs> just, we were just walking like me. <laughs> yes, yeah. Yeah, yes, yeah. You got bitten by the bugs today. And in the tea gardens as well. So they get bitten by different bugs in the tea gardens. But that's what actually is what produces the honey fragrance. All right. The flavor is the uh, green leaf hopper. So the green leaf hopper will come through bite the leaves. So this guy makes the teas expensive? Yes. Oh, yes. you get more of those guys then? Well, they're pretty tiny and they are hard to control. Right. 
So, but this area, they're everywhere, right? Yeah. So that's why this tea is best to grow here. This why it's the, the specific teas that grow in this area are the honey fragrance black teas. Um, but let's see how much time we got left here. About 30 more seconds. You starting to get nervous? You starting to... Totally, but I'm, <laughs> I'm also really ready. Let's do this. <laughs> These teas are, um, they, they're, they're really fun. I mean, this, this tea is a tea that is great for the Western market as well, because it's like, it's, anyways, you'll see, you'll see. I don't wanna, I don't wanna lead here's the a... witness. I don't wanna be throwing you out there. So this for me is like, okay, here's somebody that I know is intelligent, that they, they think about things, they, they, they have a life, but they don't know anything about tea. So I'm so curious there you to go. see. Crunch time. What, you know, I'm so curious to see if you think, well, this is the expensive tea because this, this is the cheapest tea because of this. And, and if you don't have a because, that's okay too. Okay. That's okay too. <laughs> but I'm gonna be looking for a honey flavor. That's what I got so far. Okay, so the teas have been steeping for about four minutes. We just turned off the timer. Now what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna sample these teas. Again, you guys actually know the answers now. We don't know the answers because the answers should be in the bottom of those. To see which are the expensive teas and which are the cheaper teas. Well, there's three different grades, right? So which is the cheap tea, which is the expensive tea? So over here we've got our tasting cups. There you go, one for each of us. And then we've got the spoons. So we'll put the spoons like this. Now, when you are evaluating teas, right? So imagine like 200 very, very similar teas in a massive room. So when they're doing the tea competitions, there's 200 teas that look exactly like this. Very, very similar teas, all lined up on these, these big rows. But what you do if you are the evaluator, this is what you do, right? So you go like this, you open it up, you take a look, you give it a sniff, Go like that, maybe give it a shake too. But lift it too high so I don't see the answer. Well, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> honest, he's honest, I like it, I like it. But that's how you do it, right? And then you go like this, and then you take some, you take some in your cup. Now, I know I've watched the coffee videos and you're supposed to like slurp the coffee and things like that. Generally speaking in tea, there's not a lot of slurping, but there is a lot of like, moving around in your mouth. You want to get the flavor. Mm -hmm. So for me, I try and go like, like this a little bit, get some air in there, and just sort of get the taste and get the flavor of the taste. Right. Okay. Sort of like that. So go for it. You try it out. Can't see anything but the color, can you? Um, looking at the colors right now, they're all basically similar. This one might be a little bit darker, but I think they're basically the same. Yeah. All right, let's do it. I'll start here. So I take one spoonful. Yep, one or two. There's no. Oh yeah, I take two. There's no absolute amount that you have to take for sure. Yeah. More. So I will have to say for me right now, I mean, this is really easy. These are my home-based <laughs> teas. Like I tasted these two teas. I already know what this one is going to be. And I really love coming here. Okay. <laughs> I love I these to. teas. I absolutely yeah, love these I'm gonna teas. Get, I'm going to get three of them quickly after each other. Otherwise, I'll forget. So again, these are the Honey Fragrance Black Teas. They are... Uh, uh, the, the two that I tried, they're the, I showed you earlier today, they're the uh, a Big Leaf Oolong Cultivar, so the one that has a little bit of a floral nature to it. And, um, and the grades of these teas are, they're quite different. Go one more round. Of course, take as much time as you want. We can get the editor to like speed it up. <laughs> Remember too, you can you can actually open these up and smell the leaves, which might help a lot as well. Oh, I can do that, yeah? Yeah, yeah, for sure. They, 
For me, this do they is, look differently? Is, because I thought one don't. of them looked quite yeah. different than the others, so I might be able to tell by the looks. Go for it. Go for it. Okay, I'll I'll do that later. I wanna okay. I wanna make a judgment before I look at it because I think by looking at it I might be able to tell at least the, the expensive one. Okay. Oh, it's because uh... right now I'm um, I I was thinking that those two have a stronger honey flavor in the nose than this one. Mm -hmm. um, so for now I would rule out this one as. This one is not the most expensive one, mm -hmm. so it's either the one, either this one or this one. Okay, right, so go go back in there and probably now I ruled out the expensive one now. Well, I can tell you, <laughs> I can tell you right now that that is not the most expensive one. Okay. So, so there you go. Okay. You're you're at a fifty fifty right now. All you're right. at a fifty fifty. Let's do this. So. Before you make your choice, I'm going to give you a little bit of help. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort of universalize some of the flavors that high quality foods have. So when you're looking at high quality foods, it could be a cheese, it could be a wine, an olive oil. Usually there is a smoothness, right? There is a, a nuance. There is, uh, the way I describe it with teas is there's no edges, right? There's no sharpness. Mm -hmm. Now, there's always exceptions to that rule. There are some teas that are supposed to be very, very sour or supposed to be very, very bitter. These are not those, right? But that is a really good way. Yeah. Like think about, uh, I remember the first time I ever had uh, sipping tequila or very, very good tequila. I never drank tequila again for the rest of my life. I was like, this is what it's actually supposed to taste yeah. like. This is a beautiful nectar. This is gorgeous. And I never drank tequila again unless it was the top of the top corner. I had that with cachaça. Cachaça. Cachaça yeah. is the, the spirit that you use for, um, for caipirinhas. Um, the, you know the Brazilian cocktail? I do not know. I do not know. Okay. Okay. <laughs> because it's a, it's a cocktail, um, but you can also drink the, the spirit by itself. Okay. Uh, like a rum. Well, anyways, you know exactly what I'm talking about, right? So that, that idea that, that uh, so that, that is some help. Because okay. I, I know the taste of these two teas. And, yeah. and there is, that should help you a lot in making a decision. I think I have a winner. I'm going to do one, one more round. Okay, so which one, which one do you think? Most expensive, second, third. Okay, so that is not my guess. I would say this would be the most expensive. Uh, this one was the second and this one was the third. All right, so we, we have the answers now. So uh, this one right here was the super expensive. Uh, this was the competition style tea. Oh, okay. This one here was the one that um, this uh, wonderful lady said was for milk tea <laughs> so this one was the lowest one and then this one here was the one that was sort of in the middle now when you're looking at these teas what you were looking for what you said you were looking for was honey right yeah now 100 percent, absolutely these two have the most honey right so this one over here is more floral, it's a little bit more fruity, it had less honey, mm -hmm. right? But what divided these two was this one had woodiness to it. Did you notice that? There's a little bit more of an earthiness, a little bit more of a woody characteristic to it. I didn't notice that. I, I looked at bitterness. Bitterness. And I thought this one was a little more bitter than this one. So it was. A, I found this one to be a bit more sharper as you explained okay. because I basically said okay sharpness bitterness and I found this one a little more bitter than this one okay well this for me like this tea uh, I guess I cheated a little bit at the start because I actually went like this and I I sniffed it so if you sniff this oh okay so so try the now you can try and go into the teas and sort of sniff them wow very different so so <laughs> I, I warned you, I said you should probably sniff the leaves, right? And if you go through the leaves, yeah, that, that helps out. very different. That wow. helps out okay. a lot. 
Okay. So just by sniffing wow. the leaves, you can tell the difference between the three. Wow. Right. And this is this is one of those things. I mean, go for it again. Experiment with these teas. Try them out and look at them. But this is one of those things that is, um, you know, as I'm selling teas, as I'm trying to get teas out there, this is one of the biggest. I can totally understand people who are very, very hesitant to buy high quality teas because you line them up like this. And if I said to you, okay, this one is $100, um, you know, this one is $100, this one's $200, this one's $300. You know, evaluating those things. But at the same time, if you really like this one, well, it's actually the cheapest one, and that's great for you. Right, so, so there's all of these different competing currents when you're looking at these teas and evaluating these teas. But, um, but so did, did sniffing the leaves help you out a lot? I mean, yeah, that... yeah. That, I mean, this one, this one has a lot more, well, let's put it the other way around. These ones are more, I'd say that earthy, woody, yeah. Mm -hmm. And this yeah. one's got more, this one really got the honey, this one, Sounds like a drop of honey, basically. Yes, with, with flowers around it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like this is this is this is a really high quality tea. Now, as competition teas go, and again to tell you how complicated this is, as competition teas go, that tea is probably in the fifty percentile. So, when you're looking at competition teas, this one isn't actually all that very good. So, when you get to the best of the best competition teas, they are uh, they're so hard to describe. They're so good. Right. But this is in the same vein, right? Then this one here, you know, is for milk tea, right? This is, but this is the tea that Westerners most likely, mm. this is the familiar taste, right? And then this one over here is, uh, if you're gonna buy just sort of a normal tea, a normal honey fragrance black tea, then it'd be probably this one here. But um, anyways, wow. Thank you very much for doing this. Thank you very no much for for telling us how this went. I mean, I'd love to do this with you another time, but have teas that I don't know <laughs> because this yes. is this is cheating. You know, like these teas. I know these teas like the back of my hand, but if we had teas that were completely different, I would love to do that another time. Because, um, like I said, it's kind of cheating. But uh, but listen, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. No worries. Thank you for, for showing me. Sweet. That's right. good. So there you have it. There's some honey fragrance black tea. And I don't know. Maybe we'll do this again sometime soon. We should. Let's do it.